What's up, guys? This week on the show, we got another Hori product coming at you. The Hori Chat and Splat headset. Is it any good? Let's check it out. All right, let's open her up and take a look inside. If you can get it open. Ooh, spilling out the bottom. All right, what do we got? Looks like headphone cones or uh, that's the chat mixer. themselves. They don't look bad. Uh, these are these are extra clips for the side. A little bad. The headphone itself looks pretty good. Let me try it, see if it's any com how comfortable it is. Okay, so this is how they want this thing set up. You get this little chat mixer. One end goes to your switch. One end goes to your phone, and then one end goes out to the headset. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I don't understand how t Nintendo did this for their um, for the Switch. This is um, a little confusing. I'm gonna try it all out, and I will get back to you guys. All right, so I'm back, and. I don't know what's going on with this system. Okay, the system works, um, but I don't know why Nintendo made it so complicated to talk online. So first of all, you need to switch. Then you need your phone app. Then you need this little <sighs> chat mixer or whatever, just to talk online. This seems like Nintendo is making people jump through hoops just so that they can talk online. And this is something that people have been doing on consoles for years now. I don't understand how Nintendo went so, got so much right with the Switch and then just completely failed on, on the whole chatting. I mean, this is, this is modern gaming. People want to talk while they, um, while they play with each other. And so but basically the whole system works. There's no, no issues with that. The system, if you hook it all up together, it works. It's. I feel like there's just so much te tethered to me now while I'm playing. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, it did come with an extension cord, which is really good. I have several of these lying around. I didn't even bother unw unwinding this, but. So, if you want to have it hooked, your switch hooked to your hub and 
sitting on the couch playing at home. You have a long ass wire running from the switch to the chat mixer, to your phone, to your headset. If somebody trips over that, everything, your head is being pulled, your phone is being pulled, your switch is being pulled. This is like a disaster waiting to happen. They need to come out with something way less complicated than, than this whole setup right now. I'm actually trying to think of um, a way I can get around having all of these wires around me while I'm playing. Um, as for the headset itself, the headset's not bad. It's a little small. Um, I mean, I have a big head, so that could be it. But I mean, it's not bad. It's your basic $20 pair of headphones. You're not expecting the world. These pieces here are changeable. It comes with an extra set of uh, red ones in case you want to change the way it looks. These are the exact same ones that they have in game too, so I mean, I'm sure that's why they did it like that. But I'm really dissatisfied with this system of um, online chatting. I mean, with the 3DS, you just can plug in a headset and if the game supports chat, you're done. This seems overly complicated. And if you must talk online while you're playing Splatoon, also, that's the only game right now I think this works with. That's the only thing I saw on the app. Um, so if you're playing Splatoon and you have to talk online, then get it, because right now it's the only solution, but for everyone else, I'd say hold off until something less complicated comes out. And if not, then eventually, yeah, if you want to talk online, this is, this is going to be your only option. Um, dissatisfied with this option, but it is what it is. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and take care, everyone.